Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this very, very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations, we'll be solving one very interesting rational equation in this video. Equation is x power 4 plus x square plus 1 over x square plus x plus 1 plus x power 4 plus x square over x square plus x equal to 2. We have to find out real valued x. So let's get started by writing domain of the equation. See, these two terms cannot be zero denominators. So I will write x square plus x can't be zero. Conclusion is take x common first. x plus 1 can't be zero. Conclusion is x cannot be zero. x cannot be negative 1. One thing is for sure. Now first is means quadratic equation. I will write x square plus x plus 1. If you will only see the discriminant of this equation quadratic 1, then you will see 1 is square, so 1 minus 4ac. So discriminant is negative. That means complex solution. No need to check. So overall conclusion for equation, it is x cannot be 0 and x cannot be 1. Now let us consider the very first expression of the rational equation separately. So I will write x power 4 plus x square plus 1 over x square plus x plus 1. Now I will consider this x square as 2x square minus x square. So I will write 2x square minus x square plus 1 divided by x square plus x plus 1. Now I will take the three terms all together. Let me write x power 4 plus 2x square plus 1. It is perfect square divided by x square plus x plus 1. Now see the first three term. These three it is one perfect square, it is x square plus 1 whole square. You can check x square whole square x power 4, 1 whole square 1 and 2 times x square times 1 that is 2x square minus x square over x square plus x plus 1. Now difference of 2 squares. So we will write the formula a square minus b square. It is a plus b times a minus b. So let's apply over here. This is our a and this is our b. So I will write x square plus 1 plus x in one bracket. x square plus 1 minus x in second bracket. Divided by x square plus x plus 1. Now I will cancel this bracket and this one. So ultimately what is coming out finally for the first expression, first term of the rational equation, x square minus x plus 1. Okay, so let me write in that place this value. So I will write x square minus x plus 1 plus, let me write equation here. Plus, now I will take x square common in the numerator here. So I will consider x square plus 1. And in denominator, I will take x common. So I can write x plus 1 in the bracket equal to 2. Now I can see, I will cancel these two. Now what is left, I will only simplify. So if I will consider let me write here x square minus x plus 1 plus x times x square plus 1 divided by x plus 1. Now I will multiply the first term with x plus 1. See what I am saying. Here I will multiply with x plus 1. So I need to multiply over here. Why I am doing this? to make our denominator common or same. 
So I will write here x plus 1. See, it is coming out x plus 1 times x square minus x plus 1 plus x times x square plus 1 equal to 2. Now see the first term. It is one identity. This one is one formula. And formula is x cube plus 1. a cube plus b cube. a plus b, a square plus b square minus ab. So in that place I will write x cube plus 1 plus x cube plus x equal to cross multiply 2 times x plus 1. So I can write 2x cube plus x plus 1 equal to 2x plus 2. Take all the term to LHS, left hand side. So 2x cube, x minus 2x. So minus x, 1 minus 2. So minus 1 equal to 0. So ultimate equation is this cubic polynomial. Now it is obvious that we have to identify one base solution. So rational root theorem, synthetic division method, everything is applicable. But before that, you can only see, once I will add all the coefficients of the equation, I will get zero. So straight away, no need to go into the big names. Only simple by putting x equal to one, we will get minus one, zero. Check, zero it is. So x equal to 1 is base solution. Once base solution is known, we will go for synthetic division. So I can consider the coefficient. Let me write synthetic division method where base is x is equal to 1. Let me write all the coefficients of cubic equation 2, 0, negative 1, negative 1. Put one line over there. Leading coefficient or term as it is 2. Now let us multiply these two terms all together. So 1 times 2 and we have to write here. 1 times 2 is 2, 2, 2. Okay. Now 2 times same job. 2 times 1, 2. So I will write 2 here. So it will give us 1. 1 times 1, 1. Minus 1 plus 1, 0. These are the coefficient of quadratic equation. 1 degree lesser than the original one. The original one was cubic. Now it is 2x square plus 2x plus 1 equal to 0. Let's solve this quadratic equation. One base solution is confirmed. That is x is equal to 1. And it is not in the rejected list. If you want to check, you can see x equal to 1 is not in the rejected list. It was minus 1. So x is equal to 1 is confirmed solution. Let me solve this quadratic equation. 2x square plus 2x plus 1. Plus 2x plus 1 equal to 0. Let's apply quadratic or Shridharachar formula. Minus b, so minus 2. Plus minus is square root. b square, so 4. Minus 4ac, so 2 times. So I will write minus 8. Okay. 2a4 minus 2 plus minus minus 4i. No need to write minus i. If I will write, I will take outside. Okay, denominator is 4. In next step, I will write as we know i is the square root of minus 1. i square is minus 1. So here I can consider it is minus 2 plus minus the square root. 4i square. This is what I was writing. So it is minus 2. This i square will come out from the square root. So i square root 4 over 4. In next step, I will write minus 2 plus minus i2 or 2i. Let me write 2 here. Then divide with 2. So our answer will become 1 plus minus i over 2. And see it is complex solution. So we will reject this. At beginning also we can find out our discriminant here itself. And we can conclude our answer. From there that solution will be complex only. Okay. So our ultimate real solution is x is equal to 1 which we calculated. 
i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video please take care of yourself